Alrighty, hello everybody. Welcome back to more Scarlet and Violet. Previously, we made our way from all the way down here in Laventia, all the way over here to the Tag Tree Thicket. And we are going to go ahead and do the Poison Crew base because that is, I believe, the next in terms of if we're trying to go in order of like level chronologically anyways that's what we should do um we're just right outside the base here and there is a couple more things it looks like i can try to encounter uh one of those being a pine toe i kind of want to take my chances with that but of course i walk too close and have to talk to these guys do me a favor and go home already will you no, I want to see the boss of the Navi Squad. Take me to Don Atticus. Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any of you outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care. I'm not leaving until you let me talk to Don Atticus. Give me a break, you little doofus. What do you want to do? Where's the not bother? Huh? Oh, great. Here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star movies would get me to this would be this much of a chore. Hold on, Mr. Grunt. I think this boy might be Tristan. Wait, Tristan? The kid who picked the fight with Team Star? Yep, that's me. I knew it. Ooh boy, this ain't good. Everyone else on the base is still asleep since we were up all night last night playing video games. Leave him to me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time. For you to go wake up the others. Yeah, and what's in it for you? Don Atticus will be in danger if no one's here to defend the base. I owe that man my life. He's my dear compadre. And when crisis calls, one has no choice but to rally to those dear to him no matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, Kate, but thanks for the big assist. Alright, you villain. Be ready for if you're after Don Atticus, be prepared to face my wrath. How old is this kid? Also, why are we standing so far back? Pokemon trainer y y Yosef? This man has... Yeah, let me just do this. I'm not even gonna use my stab. He lived, but he flinched. Tough. Tough luck, kiddo. Shrewdle. I don't know what type of Shrewdle is off the top of my head. I'm gonna assume poison. Oh, I was right. Poison and normal, that's what it was. Which is interesting, because, like, that just means it doesn't have... Well, no. It means it doesn't have fighting resistance anymore, but it also gets the ghost type immunity. I wonder if that's actually, like, better? Or, I wonder if that's good or not. I don't know. I talk big, but I'm no warrior. Hey, you just challenged a prodigy. What did you expect to happen? Don Atticus, I'm sorry I failed you. Tristan, are you alright? I was wa uh, standing watch, and when I heard a ruckus all of a sudden, I got worried that maybe something had happened to you over here. Ah, uh, no fair, you had back up this whole time. Is this boy one of the Academy students? He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right, I'm not a member of Team Star, but Don Atticus is my compadre. I have to see him no matter what. Well, clearly you have your reasons for being here. Trisha, I like to ask this boy some questions, so you go ahead and get started on the base. Might I borrow you for a chat, my, uh... My man, don't worry, I won't fight. Nice work dealing with the guard. Within that base lies Team Star's poison crew, the Navi Squad. Their boss Atticus designed the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands. The guy is also a bit of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. 
So since it, it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of war, just take out as many of the squad's Pokemon as you can until Atticus shows his face. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off his face with the operation. Time to wipe the Navi squad off the map. I think we go with these three. Because you have the immunity, which I don't know if that matters at all. You need the experience, and then you have the super effectiveness. So. Or do I want to see if I can find what I was looking for initially, before I was rudely interrupted? Zuru's around here somewhere. One of you. Oh, it's not you. Because Zeru and Ditto disguise themselves. Watch should be one of the Shrew. No. Because I don't want to knock it out on accident. Must just be a rare thing then. Yeah, because he's over. Says he's close to the gate, and there was nothing over by the gate. Nothing from what I can see, anyways. Pineco. Okay, Pineco is deep this way. I feel like I already have a Pineco, but I can't picture. What the hell? This guy's here? You seem like you, you must be rare. Psych? I knew it. I knew you stuck out like a sword though. I should probably click flail. Okay, that did plenty. That did plenty of damage. I don't need any more than that. So is that how you know if you're gonna run into something like that? Because when we ran into Ditto initially, it was a Tauros, but you could find Tauros in that route that we found it in. So is there like a chance that the raring, a rare encounter on this route would be the Toad School? Really? Why are we not, why are we not getting caught? What are we doing here? Somebody. I know you're cool and all, but let's not be difficult for the sake of being difficult. Thank you. No, Delilah. Not right now. Go lay up on my bed. No. No. Up here. No, calm nature, and... I mean, I think it's more of a special attacker, but like, it's got no defense. I don't know why I would want anything with the defense with increasing nature. I did not mean to do that. 
says it should be like right in front of me. Do I expect it to be on the ground? Ah, fuck it. Who cares? Let's just go in and run shop. First three Pokemon at your party. Yes. Don Fan just came out, he's like, yeah, I'm ready. Seems like the folk of Operation Star Fool are finally making a move against our base. You know what that means, gang. Time for us to shine bright and avenge our teammates. And hey, little intruder, just so you know, you've got to defeat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes. Our boss might deem you worthy to meet in person. Ha, break a leg. Okay. <laughs> I feel like they upgraded like the UI system for this. Like this doesn't look the exact same. I haven't done one of these in a while, so I can't tell you how they would look they looked initially. We're just racking up the numbers. He's way above our level. We gotta get to the boss. It's taking a little bit. Pray for, pray forgive my sudden entry. Tis I Atticus. You're that scoundrel, I take it. You have some nerve bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wrench. I plunge into your grim poison. Shall be your well-deserved fate. On guard. Surely you can't be that difficult. Level 30. So yeah, you and your strong tank, yeah. See so it. Yeah. Not by punishment, await the wretch. A flag on your house. Oh, he's 32. Not 30. Certain moves can poison you with mere grays. Tremble, scoundrel, for thy Pokemon's sake. Yeah. No, thank you. Reverie room? Alrighty. Oh, is this like the evolved form of the other guy? Iron head? Okay. And we get flinched. Of course we get flinched. Okay, so he has a team of four. So I'm assuming if I remember correctly. One of them is his vehicle. I believe. Muck. Mac. Mac. 
So the muck is not legal, the skunk tank isn't legal, like those are not, you should not have those, technically. So he has two different ones. You think you can, you think you give me a taste of my own poison? Like mend or whatever you just said? Is that all going too fast? Can I, can I small break? I'm, I'm assuming my test draw is just, yeah, the same type I already am. So I'm just gonna pop off real quick. I mean, if it's steel and poison, then I should, like, destroy this thing. Spin out. Speed harshly fell. Why would you? Wonder if that move is supposed to be like good. Poison spikes were scattered all on the team. Why though? Is that like an added effect of the spin out? I don't know. Good job, Don Fan. Forgive me, my friends. About a year and a half ago, he had his face not covered. Forgive me, it took me a good, a goodly amount, a goodly time to pro procure the required materials. Mm-hmm. Whoa, sick. These boots are insane. Ah, uh, yes, the move Flame Charge was my muse for those particular pieces. This outfit is everything I, managed, I imagined it would be. Thank you so much. Is that a... That's gotta be a one. I thought on the screenshot we saw, like, that it was a guy, but no, that's gotta be a woman. I merely wish to create a costume worthy of the great infernal... Airy? If it aligns with your vision, then I am content. Seems our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up then. Thanks a ton, Atticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. You're so good at these sort of crafty things, Atticus. Those people bullying you because you geek out over old-fashioned stuff are out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. I neither expect nor desire sympathy for um, the unrefined rabble. Oh, someone's getting fired up. Watch our world. Our Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. All right, gang, let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs into our uh, our battle training so we're all prepped for Operation Star. We gotta be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed, it does. Henceforth, I will devote my heart and soul to honing my battle skills. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. So, this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it in thy care. Right. Take this contraption too. It contains a technique that allows you to cover their foes in gunk. Gunk shot? Oh my god. Tristan is thy name, is it not? You have utterly bested me, but thy victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such was its brilliance. Don Atticus, my compadre. Seems this little fella, fella has been dying to speak with you face to face. Don Atticus, please, hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever you brought... Whatever brought you all the way here. I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? When the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were all able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? Nay, we've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. Without the team, the bright and merry 
The student life we seek is beyond our reach. We've got no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. You evidently trust this big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, not one of us has met them in the flesh. By their own word, they are a recluse. As with the rest of us, Twood seen bullying was to blame. That's awful. Though their name and face be unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious comrade. Our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the bases, awaiting the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school. But still, don't ever think that Team Scar is all you have, Don Atticus. You got a lifelong compadre in me, don't... For you forget it. My compadre. I owe you a great debt. Seems we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's truancy and bullying at the Academy, but more importantly, I can't believe I have had no idea about the issues the students are struggling with. They have friendships they hold dear and reasons for acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. Shameful how oblivious I've been. Ha, huh. I believe Team Star to be the one and only treasure in my life. Methinks I have made I may have been mistaken. And so how does that make them the evil team? Like, it seems like they're not. Tristan, it's me. Atticus Star Badge is now yours, then. I see. Uh, it's, it's boss has been taken down. The Navi Squad's days are numbered. No attic is still. Sorry, I've got a lot on my mind now. With Operation Starfall, you've taken down all but two bases, so it's fair to say it's going well. It seems like a good time to let you know what we're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first recruited the five squad bosses and created Team Star, the one they call the Big Boss. Who is this Big Boss, though? Who knows? They control the five squad bosses from the shadows. That's all anyone can say. If we defeat this person, we can get them to declare the team disbanded. That'll be it for Team Star, since the big boss never set up their own base, and it keeps our identity hidden. I take it they're not ones for the spotlight. But once all the squad bosses are out of action, the big boss will finally have to take the stage. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some healthy over to your bonus promise. Got 7,000. Now make more TMs. Have your Pokemon learn strong moves so they can continue to be used for the operation. My supply unit rep should be with you soon. Hey there, Tristan. That uh, sounded like a pretty serious phone call. Oh, he's back. Ah, I wasn't talking to you. He likes you. Ah! He's, he's just a friend. He's just a friendly dragon that has wheels on his underbody. Oh, that man schlumped. So that mastermind you were talking about, Cassiopeia mentioned them to me too. Team Star's founder, the, pe the person who caused all kinds of misery at the Academy. If we don't take them down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. What do you mean? Oh no, I just... Um, that's right, you need your reward. Here, take it before I forget. Alright, well, I'll be off then. Oh, and Tristan? Don't lose to those guys. Shit's getting deep. Yeah, I hear you. Wait, you can redo it? That early? No, I'm not, not going to do that. Okay, so now that we defeated that guy, um, I'm thinking we fly out to here because we're at 25-ish minutes. We can get the Zappa Pico. Probably don't get to the town with the next gym, sadly, but... 
I didn't expect that to happen anyway, so I'm not really be bothered by it. Oh, this... This becomes a fly spot now. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so... Let's see. Who do you want leading up front? Probably you, honestly. Is the ear somehow the lowest level? Still. Let me just grab that. Get another gimmickle coin for you. Just get all of these items. Just so much, so much stuff. Another Pokeball I just saw, yeah. Yeah, let's get to the next town. See a Voltorb, there's an item down here, another Voltorb. XP candy, the TM down here. Grab that, psychic screen, that could be useful. And there's an item right here. I was trying to get the item that was in the ground. Scram. What's in this spiral? Besides a huge fucking thing of water. There's a gimmagool down there. Oh, there's an item up top. Can I jump up high enough? Almost. I almost can. Is there anything special in the water? I just see Magikarp. It doesn't look like it. To me, it doesn't look like it anyways. Just drop here real quick. Is it worth it? That was somewhat worth it. Okay, I was not trying to get into a fight with you, buddy. I was not trying to get into a fight with you. And I like how there's, er, it appears there is no, like, endurance when it comes to the sprint thing. It just basically goes until you accidentally Run into something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at all this. You can see the size difference in them too, which is actually like really cool attention to detail. One of the things I actually like. Okay, nuggets. I think there's someone right here. Fight you, get into the town, and then we'll wrap up the video later. Lorenzo the student. I was gonna say, but am I crazy or did that Finneon not make any noise? I feel like it did not make any noise whatsoever. Little fish. Nah, I'm staying in. I need the EXP more with you than anybody else. Poison point? That's fine, I'm literally going to a Pokemon Center after this. I don't hear. Minimize? Let's not do this.
Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal up. And then we can explore... We can explore some of Zapapico next time. And then slowly make our way towards the next gym. Qua Quaval, I believe is the name. Have I battled enough people? Punching glove. What? Okay, that's pretty neat. Either way, we're gonna wrap it up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. It would be greatly appreciated. Next time, like I said, we're gonna try to make our way towards the next gym. I'm just gonna like double check and make sure we're actually doing the right thing. Times will order. So we'll do that. Um, we're probably gonna fight the gym in the episode after that though, so. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying, hit the like button, subscribe, check out Twitter and TikTok. Those will be linked in the description below. See you guys next time. Jesus, that scared me. Peace out. <laughs>